so this is actually a tank um, that I have stashed under the 60 gallon tank that has my Oscar in it. Uh, it's a tiny little tank that I had been using as a grow out tank for a lot of my fish fry and um, you can see there's actually two different types of live bearers in this tank. Um, some, you know, some wild guppies that are still in here. Actually, I have a lot of guppies in a different tank, but I also have um, some sword tails in here um, that were fry. I haven't really figured out where to transfer them right now because um, my other tank where I do have sword tails is very crowded with uh, a lot of other females and um, I've tried to segregate them by gender so uh, at least in the next couple of months I won't ha end up having too many more new babies because there just aren't any space. Um, so I put the, uh, the two males that I have into this tank and since these um, females you can see which are kind of the rounder plumper um, fish here they're they're for the most part a little bit young on the young side to to be breeding but although I can see right now there actually are a couple of of them that lo do look like they're actually pregnant so um, these particular sword tails uh, have a rather clear body and you can actually see if they are gravid as in they have eggs in them uh, or at least uh, fish since they are live bearers going to pop out little baby fishes eventually that uh, it's it's actually pretty easy to tell uh, if they're pregnant and um, but normally if I were to put the males into my other tank I would end up probably with a lot of female uh, females getting pregnant and uh, in general they won't uh, have the babies pop out if they see that there's a lot of uh, aggression and com competition out in the environment but if I just take one female that is pregnant and put it in this particular tank, uh, they will they will let the babies out. So, but at this point, I really don't want to take care of any more uh, fish right now. So, trying to trying to control the population. Um, also, you can see this is also a grow out tank for plants. Uh, you can see the stuff that looks kind of like you know seaweed is a uh, swasser tang and I've actually been growing that out in my shrimp tank and the shrimp tank actually got way too, many, too much swasser tang and I moved it in here and it's also taking over so uh, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty full tank I also have lots of um, snails in here that you can see um, you know pretty much I use those snails for um, my puffers as food source so uh, even if this tank gets overrun with snails uh, 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 which it does probably every two months I kinda just scoop them all out and feed them to my puffers uh, other than that, it's a it's it's kind of the little tiny little tank hidden under the cabinet uh, for for these you know just to to keep these extra fishes uh, safe you know until I find a new home for them. So we'll see.